Okay guys, you switch moist the learning Python Linada Sana. You welcome to this session. In this session, we are actually going to cover how we can deploy Frasky on Apache um, web server by using Ubuntu server. Okay. That's cool. Seven month seven months ago, I actually lectured how to deploy the Django on I mean Apache and Ubuntu server so it's a time for Frasky because the, um, there are so many viewers watching about Frasky I mean tutorials okay so I have to acknowledge that Frasky is also most watch the videos or tutorials so I have prepared the walkthrough for you and I'll actually put it in on my GitHub account and then after I'll put the link below the video description so as you can be going with me. So the first command to run on your server is, I mean, we usually, I mean, update the server, okay? Then after, install Apache 2, okay? For my case, I don't have to install Apache because Apache is already, I mean, Apache is already, I mean, installed in my computer. So I'll skip the first command. And after I'll move to the second command where we first start to create, I mean, project folder for our Apache web application. So this is a folder I have created. Then after I, the sec, I mean, the next command is to change the directory to our project folder, run that command, I mean, that's cool. After that, we needed to create a Python visual environment with the name VM. After creating Python visual environment, the next command is to activate the visual environment, then install Frasky so as we can be ready for that. That's cool. We have already activated the visual environment. So let us install Frasky. Frasky is very simple and is a I mean deployment is also very simple. So we install Frasky. That's cool. After installation of Frasky, inside of this project folder, we needed to create a py file. So the command is nano. Okay. After creating this file, make sure you put these source codes in a file which is just the hello Ed program in Frask. That's cool. We are good to save this file. After that, we actually needed to test this application, I mean, our Frask app. So you export Frask, then after. This command is good. That's cool. After that, we needed to test it by running this command, Frask run. That's cool. So you can see on your local host, try this IP address because this is server we are actually going to test for this IP address so I'm going to copy this and paste it here on the browser that's cool you can see this is hello ID in the Frasky but is using default development port which is port 5000 we actually want it to be I mean to use port 80 or port 443 which is default port for apache so let us create i mean wsgi okay let us create something like this but i mean i'll show you something okay let us create this file so after creating this file, we'll actually need it to paste this, I mean, source code. Okay. 
we need to copy from here up to here but we are actually using mod wsgi which is a patch module i mean for deploying this python web framework so make sure that mod wsgi is installed okay that's cool you can see here the path of our application and so on save this file okay so before we move on let me deactivate let me get out of i mean let me get out of this i mean okay pip3 list okay there is a uh, mod let me grab here grab mod okay there is no this package okay no worry but if you face any challenge you will actually need the uh, wsgi something like this okay let us activate our virtual environment vm bin activate so if you will face any challenge what you will actually need to do here is to i mean there is there is a command here is i think is pip install mod wsgi so something like that so let us i mean um i'll try out to see it in chat gpt because uh, we are have to acknowledge that we use chat gtp oh jesus chat gpt that's cool so inside of this file i'll copy this file okay the source code and after paste them in that's cool oh what's happening okay yeah that's cool So after that, what we actually needed to do here is to restart Apache. So let me put comment here, system str, I mean, restart Apache 2. That's cool. Okay. Restart Apache, excuse me, guys. Before you actually have, I mean, started the apache or started we need to run this command this command will actually check for your syntax configuration i mean to check the correctness correctness of your syntax if this is okay i mean possible our flask web application is now running on port 8 so let's have put something like this you can see of Till okay, seems something is wrong. Port eight. Okay, let us restart once again. Oh, no, 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 something was wrong here. Okay, that's why I can't get something. I think we created it. Now, if we check for Apache configuration, you can see everything is okay. So we can start Apache. So when we refresh this page, that's cool. So it's very clear and simple. So this is actually how you can, I mean, deploy your, I mean, your Frasky web application by using Apache web server on Ubuntu server, okay? I think here I created it, uh, some file. That's cool, guys. I think you have found this session awesome. What I was actually talking about, 
let me go here on chat gpt okay so what i was i mean talking about so whenever you face any challenge what you can actually do here is uh, let me show you something here what you can actually do here is uh, I mean, you can run this command, okay? To, I mean, let me add this command for you. You can install modi wsgi, this command. I mean, because this is, I mean, up, this is Apache module for running WSGI application, okay? So let me add this for you. But if you, I mean, if you, I mean, you watch the video on how to deploy, I mean, uh i mean the django and apache i think we this i mean command was i mean we used this command so you can run this command after installation of this command what you can actually do here this command enables modi wsgi okay then after to make sure that the changes, I mean, the loaded, I mean, I mean, the module has been loaded, you can restart. I know that people will have not watched this video to the end, will actually mean, get some errors if they have, they, they, they don't have Modi WSGI installed in their computer. So this sum up the end of this session, guys. I think, um, I'll see you in the next Tuesday. Asante sana, thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Muito obrigado. Maxi Boku, Kamza, Hamida, Aita Danke. I hope to see you next time.